There's our ship. We got like, um, <laughs> we got like three minutes until we're supposed to be back on board, but I have a feeling the line's gonna be super long anyway, so there's no there's no point in rushing. All these people are still out here. Although the Freedom doesn't leave, but the Freedom's going to, to uh, Belize tomorrow as well, so if we miss the glory, we'll just come on over and hop on the Freedom. That's just a joke. You all cannot do that. You cannot do that. You will have to catch a plane. You can't just hop on another ship, even if it is going in the other, even if it go, is going in the same place. So um, we're gonna get back on the ship. I'll tell you guys a little bit about our excursion and then we're gonna watch sail away. Okay y'all, so we're just back in the room. and <laughs> Look at what greeted us. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. And then there's more over here. <laughs> so there's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh my gosh. Look, you know what she's doing, right? She's making it a father and a son. See? Father, son. Father, son. That is crazy. She is awesome. Absolutely amazing. Okay, y'all. So let's talk for just a second about how our excursion went, okay? Um, it was a little interesting, okay? So it started off okay. It wasn't that bad. Um, the bus ride, it was like, it's like super bumpy, but there's nothing they can do about that. That's all the island of Roatan. Um, it was really, really bumpy. But then when we got there, we like waited on the bus. And we waited on the bus, and we waited on the bus, and we waited. Daddy, how long did we wait on the bus alone? It was probably 10 minutes. 15, 20 minutes. At le yeah, at least 10 minutes. <laughs> at least 10 minutes, probably 15. 10, 15 minutes that we waited on the bus alone. Okay, that was before we even got off. Like, we're at our excursion. They just, like, would not let us off the bus. So, now Eric's going to make an announcement. Okay, so as I was saying, so um, we waited in the bus for probably, like, 15 minutes. Then they got us out of the bus. They told us to put all of our bags in this bigger bag and that we'll get our money out. And we won't see that bag again until we're down at the end of the zip line. Which is kind of sketchy, you know, um, kind of sketchy there, but we did. So I am glad that I didn't, well, I was initially glad. I'm, I'm regretting not bringing the drone now. I wish I had brought the drone, but oh well. Um, we got our stuff out and then, like, we waited even more. Like, they took us down to, like, the start platform and we just, it was like one guy putting harnesses on. I mean, that how many people? There had to probably be like 50, 50, 75 people and one guy putting harnesses on. So it, it took an extremely long time. Like we probably waited a good 45 minutes an hour just getting harnesses and suited up. Then the zip line came. Now the zip line was fun. You guys saw that. Um, super, super fun. Really fast. Really like a good workout like I was tired after that zip line I was ready to get in the water and and get to the beach. it like so we did we did a couple like right in a row it was like boom 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 and then we like stopped and it was like a standstill for like 10 minutes and then we would go and do two more boom boom and then we stopped and we were at a standstill it had to be 10 15 20 minutes that we just like did not move I was like what the heck? Like, why do they not? They need more guides. They need one guide per zip line. See, the problem is, is they were having to split the guides up between the platforms, so they didn't have enough guides, you know, for all the platforms. So they would have to wait till this guy got all of these people through, and then he'd have to zip through, go to the next. You know, it was. They need to have one guide per platform, not trying to use guys on the different. Uh, the whole zip lining ended up taking probably two and a half hours. It was way too much. We were all like ready to be done. Like as a group, we were all like, please can this be over? We're done with this. It's over. We've had our fun. Um, then we got down to the bottom. They gave us a good bathroom break. Um, let us get some water, Gatorade, uh, for purchase, not for free. And then they transferred us over to Tabiana Beach. That was not, that did not take long at all. The Tabiana Beach was good, but everything costs. Like, the only thing that was free was a beach chair. 
Like that. Well, that and the um, drinks. That and like lemonade and water were free. But um, your meal costs any kind of water sports, water activity costs. It was not included in the price. So there's just some things to remember. Bring some extra money along with you, because uh, otherwise, <laughs> otherwise you're gonna be having lemonade and um, and a deck chair. <laughs> for the entire beach day. So all in all, it was an I give it an okay excursion. I probably would not do the zip lining again. I would do the beach again. Um definitely would do the beach again. Probably would not do this if just being honest, probably would not do the zip lining again. Just because it was it's really unorganized. They need more guides. So uh, that's that's my take on the canopy tour and Taviana Beach excursion offered through Carnival. Uh, of course, that is subject to change in the future. You know, they may it might have just been they had a couple guys sick today, and so we were here just on a bad day or something. But I just know that our experience was not um, not the best. And it was also 45 minutes from the port each way. Yeah, yeah, that's another thing is the travel time. It's not close to the port, y'all. Like there, it's like he said, it's 45 minutes from the from Mahogany Bay to the zip lining tour is 45 minutes. So and then back 45 minutes. Right. So it's not it's not a short five minute trek over. Um, so now we're gonna head up. I'm probably gonna change out of my bathing suit and this nasty shirt and head up and watch Sail Away, um, Carnival Freedom, and the Norwegian Getaway that was in port with us today. Norwegian Getaway is on down at the uh, other other port, but they're both gonna be in Roatan with us tomorrow. So we're gonna watch Sail Away. Um, we are up first. And then we'll probably go to dinner. So So that was Sail Away from Roatan. <clears throat> um, we'll be in Belize tomorrow. But they just came on the PA system and said that the ship's going to do a 360 degree turn and for nobody to freak out, it's completely normal. What? That's Oh, they're getting a picture of the room, Stuart. Anyway, as I was saying, um, they said that the ship's going to do a 360 degree turn. Like, just in the middle of the ocean, just for no reason. Like, we just left Roatan, we're probably like, I don't know, a half a mile offshore. Like, we can still clearly see, like, we could see people on land if we wanted to. Why is the ship doing a 360? No, that's not, and he said it was for calibration. What? I have never, ever, ever been on a cruise where they had to do that for calibration. Have you? Have you ever heard of that? I've never heard of that. I don't know. We're going to go to dinner now. You ready for dinner? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. We're going to go to dinner now um, and then has the Game Show. So let's go eat. Here's tonight's dinner menu. Uh -oh. And the main course. Chicken pastelitos, I think is how you say it. That looks good to me for an appetizer. And maybe, I don't know, maybe the southern fried chicken. I don't know if I want to get two chickens. I don't know, everything looks really good. So my appetizer came, this is the chicken pastelitos, I think, I'm not sure, it looks good. I it's chicken and a biscuit. I guess, there's, yeah, I guess there's chicken in there, I don't know. Yeah, it is. It looks, here's our dessert menu for tonight, 
The um, s'mores parfait looks really good, but I think I'm going to stick with my classic mountain cake. And they said the um, pie is, is it, you said peach? Peach pie tonight. Peach pie tonight. And you have your after dinner cocktails, coffee for a upcharge. And this is our dessert menu. Ooh, the mango. Oh, they have mango. Now look, I'm going to shoot myself in the foot because I said today, I was like, I wish they would have something mango. Fresh fruit, salsa, mint. Oh. Alright, now i got to think. It, it oh, look at this. It's the perfect, perfect, perfect cake. It breaks my heart more than does her. Look at that. Nice and tough on the outside, gooey on the inside. Just how I like it. Absolutely perfect. I used to like it like hard all the way through. No, I like it was really runny because sometimes you don't get it really runny. Right, it's like, it's like, right, right. And then right. it's like, oh, this one does not so oh, good. Oh, it's excellent tonight. And then the ice cream, the ice cream is good too tonight. Ice cream is, you see it? We're still doing that weird turn thing. I really don't understand. Hasbro the game show. Um, we came up here up to deck 10. Now I'm at the back of the ship. Down here is the wake. We're going super slow. For that, that whole turning thing earlier was like really, really weird. Like we have never done that before. Um, and I've been on, se this is my seventh, I think. Um, and I, it's never done that. No, this is my, I don't know, this is my seventh or my eighth. It's never done that. So, um, got, just got some time to kill now. Um, to the marriage show, it is at 9.14, marriage show is at 10, I believe, so I think I might go watch a movie on deck, I think Suicide Squad, I think Suicide Squad is playing right now, I'm not sure though, um, I'm maybe go watch a movie on deck, other than that, we're just going to chill out um, until the marriage show, and then we're going back down into the Amber Palace, so I guess I'll go check out what's playing. All right, so we made it here to the Love and Marriage Show. Should be very, very interesting. I might not record a lot because this is um, this is not stage performers. I don't even know if they'll let us record, actually. Since this is not um, a stage show, this is a live audience. Or, I mean, excuse me, it's being used from the live audience. So we shall see. It was, uh, it was pretty intense. But I'm going to call it a night for tonight. Um, tomorrow we have to be super early for our excursion. We have to be in the Amber Palace by 7.30 a.m. So, 
uh, and it is it's 11:30 right now. So it's gonna be an early busy day tomorrow. We're going cave tubing, um, but I'm gonna get upstairs and get to sleep. I will see you guys in the morning, but I will leave you with this wonderful view of the ocean.